When we're trying to find the area of a rectangle, we're looking to see how much space the inside of the figure takes up. We usually just have an equation such as area equals length times width to do this. Today we're going to look to see where that equation comes from. Let's use this rectangle that has dimensions of 5 inches by 3 inches. It's common to use our longest side as our length, so 5 inches is going to be our length and 3 inches is going to be our width. To start by finding the area, we're going to break our rectangle up into squares worth 1 inch each. This means I would have 5 squares across and 3 squares going down. If we counted, we could see that would give us a total of 15 squares. So our area would be 15 square inches. It's important to always label your area in square units. We can use the exponent of 2 to abbreviate the squared part since area is a two-dimensional measurement. If we don't want to count the squares, we could see that since there's 5 across and 3 down, that we could simply multiply the 5 by the 3. Or in other words, we're multiplying the length by the width, which brings us back to that equation, area equals length times width. When we're finding the area of a rectangle, we know we have to multiply length times width. So I'm going to treat 1 and 3 tenths meters as our length and multiply it by 7 tenths as our width. To multiply now, we can follow our rules for multiplying decimals. I can treat this as 13 times 7 to give me 91. And then since 1 and 3 tenths and 7 tenths have a total of two decimal places, I need a total of two decimal places in my product as well to give me 91 hundredths. Area is always labeled in square units. Since this rectangle is labeled in meters, the 91 hundredths needs to be labeled as square meters. My final answer to area of my rectangle comes out to be 91 hundredths square meters. <laughs> <laughs>